All right, so pre-composing. So right now we just have one layer here. Let's duplicate this a few times and then drag them out. So now you see we have three layers here. If we want to create a pre-composition or quote unquote sub-project, all we have to do, select these three layers and hit Control Shift C. That'll open the pre-compose menu. So in this menu, we can give our pre-comp a name. So let's just type one in here. We'll hit OK. And so now you'll see it's, and so now you may be wondering, how do I get access to those layers again if I want them? Well, all you have to do is double click on the pre-comp and there's your three layers. But going back to the main comp, which you can access by clicking on the tab for it right here, you can see you can tab between your pre-comps. Uh, one thing we can do with this is we can move around the layer as one thing in our main comp here. And we can move the individual parts in our pre-comp here. Let's just move these around a little bit. And go back to our main comp. And that will automatically update it in the main comp. So you can see already what kind of possibilities this opens. Because you can further pre-comp these layers. So let's just say for some reason we want to pre-comp this again. We can do that, and if we move this, for example, over here, that will update in our main comp as well. Just a quick few things about pre-comps. Um, you'll see on the edges here, they get cut off, even though the original image doesn't cut off. One way we can fix that is by going to our pre-comp and hitting the second switch here, which is collapse transformations and so what this basically does is it makes the composition not depend on the resolution so if we clicked into this composition and we check the composition settings you'll see it's retained the same settings as the comp it was created from but collapsing the transformations by turning on the switch will ignore that resolution and it will make it so it fits it to the layers in the pre-comp. And if we move this around here in our main comp, because we pre-comp this twice, we'll have to enable the switch here as well. And you'll see that'll fix the image from getting cut off. All right, so there's one more thing I'd like to talk about pre-compositions. And to do that, we're going to drag in a video layer here. And so if we try to pre-compose just this single layer, we'll see that we have this other option called leave all attributes and the show what leave all attributes does we're gonna trim this video and then animate something such as the scale of it really quickly so if we pre-compose this with leave all attributes rather than move all attributes what you'll see is if we hit the U key We'll see our keyframes did not go inside the composition, but rather they stayed in this composition and were just applied to the layer. And also you'll see the length of the composition was not changed as well. So if I went into the composition, you'll see we have the whole video here. But in here it's just trimmed as we trimmed it before. And to show what it'd look like if we used move all attributes rather than leave all attributes, we'll just undo this and then pre-compose with move all attributes. So you'll see it made the length of the pre-comp exactly the length we trimmed it to. And also if we hit the U key, you'll see we don't have those animated parameters we changed. And if we go in the comp and hit U, you'll see they're applied to that layer we applied them to. So what I'm trying to say is, Leave all attributes will leave anything you change inside the comp you changed it in. But if you move all attributes, all those attributes are going to go into the comp itself. Most of the time you'll be using move all attributes since you're usually going to be selecting a bunch of layers and you can't leave all attributes when selecting multiple layers. But this is useful for when you're just pre-comping a single layer and you might want the attributes to be left in the parent composition rather than going into the new composition. And you also might have noticed me doing this when navigating through the compositions. I'm opening this menu right here. This is called the mini composition panel and you can just open it by hitting the tab key. And so this is like probably the fastest way to navigate through your comps. So 
let's just say I want to go to the parent comp, it's as easy as clicking over to the left. So this menu will pop up right below your mouse cursor, so it makes it really easy to navigate between all your parent comps and child comps and just to see what comps you have. So this is just the surface of pre-comping and what it can do for you. So in the next few tutorials, we'll start talking about effects and other types of layers we can add, not just media files we're adding. And then we'll really begin to see how pre-comps can help us building out these effects. And just in general, seeing the quality of life that pre-comps can provide us with coming from the horror that is Vegas Project File Nesting.